Have you ever wondered why there are so many mutated creatures in the Fallout universe? Well, there are answers, but they may not be what you might think, so we're just gonna go ahead and get right into this. Nearly every creature in the Fallout universe is mutated in some way, shape, or form. This includes the human population. For humans, some turn into ghouls, while most will remain looking like a normal human. However, each person has traits that are not natural for humans. This is represented by our abilities. Some have psychic powers or similar abilities. Some are physically more capable, such as being much stronger or more perceptive, and so on. Many people believe that the radiation fallout from the war caused the mutations. That is the easy answer, but it is not the correct one. Historically, radiation has been destructive rather than mutation-inducing. The only place we see radiation causing mutations, really, is in comic books. This is how we've gotten such heroes as the Hulk and Spider-Man. In reality, radiation causes a lot of health problems. While radiation can be useful in eliminating things like cancer, it is at best a roll of the dice and often still results in death. The reason for this is that the radiation causes damage to cells and reduces or stops cell growth. Now I'm no doctor, so I won't get into the weeds on exactly what happens when the body is exposed to radiation. What I will say is that it most certainly does not cause the mutations that we see in the Fallout universe. So that begs the question, what is the cause of the many mutations we see in the wasteland? Well, there's a few possibilities. Could it be natural mutations brought on by evolution? No. Evolution takes far more time than we see in the Fallout universe. If we were to go down that road, nothing from the old world would remain as this process takes millions of years to see. So if evolution and radiation are out, then what else could it be? I'll answer that in a bit. First, we know that the pre-war governments and most pre-war companies were perfectly happy to conduct tests and or experiments on the general population. Hell, the vault Corporation is a prime example of this. We have even seen this play out in the real world recently with COVID. Obviously, the truth is still coming out about that, but all of these things can lead us down a path of truth. In the Fallout universe, the government was behind numerous experiments on the general population as they were behind a large number of businesses like Vault Tech, West Tech, and many others. These businesses were being funded and even directed to do some of the awful things that they did. This brings us to West Tech. This biotech company was the force behind the creation of the Forced Evolutionary Virus, or FEV. This was created long before the war and was being produced and tested at several locations. Even other companies got involved with it as the government was pushing to use it to create super soldiers to fight the Chinese. Just look at how quickly COVID spread in the real world. It happened quick, and this is where we start to see the Fallout Universe's problem. You see, FEV is a very potent virus, and because of that potency, it could spread and affect everything. We know that in high doses, FEV is often deadly, and when it is not, humans will turn into super mutants or ghouls. We know this because the character found in Fallout 1, 2, and 3, who was named Harold, he inhaled FEV fumes and ended up turning into a ghoul. The one thing we know is that those who survive FEV are forever changed. Now, in small doses, what can the effects be? This is where the various mutations we see come into play. In small doses, the creature infected will mutate, and so we get creatures like Brahmin, Radstags, Feral Ghouls, and so on. Even the plant life has changed. We see all of this in Fallout 76. So what happened? If FEV is the reason, how did it get out and infect every living thing on the planet? 
Well, we know that in Fallout 76, FEV was put into the water supply as a test delivery mechanism which infected the entire town of Huntersville. This was very likely not the only such experiment. We also know that the government was happy to have hazardous materials shipped across the country on railroads, trucks, and even through ships on the ocean. Just how much FEV got out is not known. That said, if recent real-world history is any indication, it really doesn't matter if it was a lot or a little. Personally, I think it was somewhere in the middle. In both Fallout 4 and 76, we see storm systems regularly. In Fallout 4, there is an area known as the Glowing Sea, and that area is heavily irradiated, which causes rad storms to pop up every so often. In the real world, storm systems are fueled by large bodies of water, and the thing is, FEV could have easily spread simply by getting caught up in the storm systems. Once out, and in the open, FEV is unstoppable. I believe this is what happened. Prior to the bombs dropping, FEV was being shipped in several areas. There were already small pockets of infection as the testing was well underway. Then the bombs fell. This caused the FEV that was in transit to be released into the air and water. As storms brew, the FEV was spread far and wide, infecting everything in small doses. This caused the plants and animals to mutate, slowly at first, but gradual, and as the survivors began to congregate together, they too got infected. Couple that with the fact that there would be eating food that was infected, and we can see why there are so many ghouls and other mutated creatures. I know that most of the lore points to radiation being the cause of these mutations, but the one thing you have to remember is that most of the lore comes from people in the game writing about the things they know about. Most of the world did not know about the FEV, and even the ones that had an idea of its existence really didn't know what it could do or even what it looked like. Prime example of this is the Brotherhood of Steel. They knew about FEV as the founder, Roger Maxson, was the one who killed the scientists at Mariposa because of the FEV experiments, but he knew little to nothing about the virus. Even during the events of Fallout 1, they still knew almost nothing about FEV. Why? Because Maxson killed the only people who did know about it. What Maxson didn't know was that FEV was being worked on at several labs across the country. If you need any more evidence, we can look at Fallout 4. The Institute took Sean and kept us as a backup because we were uninfected by FEV. Every person in the Institute was infected because they had an FEV lab and they were conducting regular experiments with it including helping with their food production. So it is only logical for people to conclude that radiation is the cause of the mutations since that is the only knowledge they have available. The truth is, FEV is the cause of the mutations and the world has forever been changed because of that. So what do you think? Do you think FEV is the cause? Do you have a different theory for the mutations? Sound off in the comments below. While you're at it, like, subscribe, and share. And as always, I'm just glad you stopped by, and I'll see you in the next one.